¿Qué ha habido? Hello, guys. This time, I'm going to make this in English. Of what I can uh, talk about, it's going to be in English. It, uh, it called my attention. the news going on about the conflict that has been going on and perhaps it's been more intensive now that uh, we have all this information, internet, computers, people talking about it, you know other than the media, which are there sold out, they will only tell you what you want to hear. That's right. And uh, that's not the whole story of what they can portray. It's crazy. It's a crazy thing. But we need to acknowledge. That's right. If we don't, we're not going to be able to understand it. So I'm trying to put my two cents into this. What I think is going on, and you perhaps don't grasp it. You know, I don't want to, for, for me, for me, it's so simple, so simple. And a lot of people don't take into a consideration. Yeah. But it's all about, it's all about religion, religion. It all started with religion. I'm telling you. I understand that people have beliefs and they brought up under those beliefs, which is totally understandable. Even myself, I was brought up in the belief that there was a supreme being, right? God. But it's not that simple. We all have different ethnic backgrounds, right? And that's where we get in trouble, basically. Not today, yesterday. It's, it's been going on for years. You know, they're Christians, Muslims, you know, Hindus, different religion. Sometimes even other people uh, go through are Muslims, but they, some are extremes, some are, I mean, when I say extremes, you gotta forgive me, but the, that word alone is being mis uh, said, especially in the media. When they're disqualificating or disqualification of the certain race, that's the word they like to use. So I'm sorry for doing that. But in reality, everything, everything, it's all about religion and hate because 
your race or your place of the world don't believe in what you believe and then they might step a toe or two there but in reality they already hate each other and guess why religion my message in this kind of situation I know I'm not the only one that thinks of it at the end we're all in this world trying to survive right and if you think about it most wars I'm, a, I'm, 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 almost, I'm almost certain that all of them are done and made in the name of their God that's the truth we need to start getting along and forget about our own God if you believe in one at this point I don't believe in one I believe in humanity we're all humans so we can take from that point over and start all over and start respecting each other and not stepping on other people's toes it's time I'm serious it's time otherwise ain't gonna be pretty people suffering right now for that same reason that's when we have to come together as humans and voice this out i have nothing against arabs israelis anybody i respect everybody but as long as you give respect, you get respect back. How about that? It's simple. Respect gets respect back. Grandfather was not wrong. I love them. And that's my school. It started with him. So I said enough, let's start getting along. Put aside religions, yeah, that's right. And start respecting each other just by being human. You get respect, you should give respect. I, I'm out, I said it. Let's do it. It's going to start with you, my audience. I love you all. We need to get along. Bye.